7.45 a.m. the 5th of May, 1930. A 26-year-old from Kingston-upon-Hull is about to become a female icon. Amy Johnson, a new breed of woman. One of the first generations to study at university. She's an economics graduate. And now, an amateur pilot. He aims to fly solo from Britain to Australia. Only two people have attempted such a flight, and neither of them were women. Her plane has a top speed of only 90 miles an hour. Extra fuel tanks have given her a flying time of just 13 hours. I have an immense belief in the future of flying. I am certain a successful flight of this nature by an English girl, solo, will do much to engender confidence amongst the public in air travel. What Amy Johnson was interested in was speed, and speed is a great preoccupation of the thirties, so that's why Amy Johnson is such a celebrity, as a glamorous young woman, fearless young woman, prepared to take on anything, and so unusual for a woman in her time. Not only does she want to be the first woman to fly to Australia, she also wants to break the 15 and a half day record for a solo flight. The furthest Amy Johnson has ever flown is from London to Hull. Now, she faces a journey of 11,000 miles. In her attempt to be the very first woman to fly to Australia, Amy Johnson hits a sandstorm over Iraq. Sand and dust covered my goggles. My eyes smarted and I couldn't control the machine. I've never been so frightened in my life. Yet she is still two days ahead of the world record. 